Egg Leader Integra display, of course, we've plugged into our Kinsey Planner under our VT tab down here. It comes up, of course, with the Kinsey Planner menu. <clears throat> Unique to Egg Leader Integra, before we can actually go to plant in the field, of course, we have to go to our home screen. We have to have our alternator running on the planner, and then, of course, select our configuration for the planner that we have connected. This check mark will not be there until you physically start the alternator on the planner by using the remote on your tractor. Once you have that selected, we then can go to select event, select our season grower farm field. We can hit our blue arrow to the right. We then can select our products. Through the isobus side on Ag Leader, we look at each half of the planter as a separate planting section. So we can have Again, the same variety like we do here, the same product, or you can change a product for split planter applications. And on this planter, we do have insecticide as an option, so we can select our product for it. If you have fertilizer as an option, you will have fertilizer uh, selection bar down there as well. After you have your product selected, we of course hit our blue arrow to the right. Of course, we've used this field several times, so we have other events listed. This is the first time for the planting season. You will not see this. You will just hit your blue arrow to the right. It lists our products that we're going to plant in this field. We hit our green check. It comes back to the home screen and gives us general Integra information very similar to running standard Ag Leader products. At the bottom of our screen, we of course have our grid page, which takes us to our general map information. Of course, we still have our virtual terminal tab down here as well to get to our Kinsey information. On the right hand side over here of course is our rate selection boxes for Ag Leader Integra. The nice part about the Ag Leader Integra display is if we expand these out we can select and change our rates for our left, our right hand, and insecticide from this page. In order to do that with the Kinsey Isobus we have to go back to our VT tab we have to come over to our rate selection box. So we select our population box and we have to select prescription. Now even though, even if you are not using a prescription in the Ag Leader Integra display, in order to control the rate from the mapping page, prescription must be selected on the Kinsey side. The same rule applies for our insecticide where we have to select prescription. If we have liquid fertilizer, the same rule would apply for that, where we'd have to select prescription for our rate selection option. Once we select prescription, we hit our page button to take us to one of our planting pages. We then can go back to our VT tab. We now see that our rates are now loaded on the Ag Leader Integra. We can hit our box here and, of course, change our rate. We can hit this one and, of course, change our rates over here. Now notice on one side we have 35,000, one side we have 26,500 for our population. This of course is our insecticide which we can change as well. We go back to our virtual terminal tab, we now see that it reads 26,500 on the right, 35,000 on the left, and then of course insecticide reads 4 as well, just like it reads on this screen also. So by selecting prescription it gives you that flexibility to change your populations here. Of course, your bar graph and actual seed tube rate information still is accessed from the VT screen. Okay. We have a simulated planting speed on this display, so if we hit on to simulate the speed, and if we go back to our map page, if anything would happen where there would be a seed rate alarm or something of that nature, there's a large virtual terminal alarm bar that comes up on the top of the screen, continues to alarm. Of course, the only way we can see what it is is by going back to the VT. And of course, we see our bulk fill fan pressure is low because none of those fans are running at this time. It acknowledge all to get back out. Of course, all of our bars are red because again, we're moving, but not putting any seed down in the ground. Of course, we can hit off everything stops and our alarms go away. On the Integra display, some big things to check for proper clutch operation, no different than standard Ag Leader operation. If we go back to our home screen, 
we go to our wrench icon in the upper right hand corner. We highlight the configuration we're using. We hit our wrench in the center. We then can look at our automatic swath control settings. So our turn on and turn off look aheads, which would be adjusted for lag and delay times in and out of headlands to ensure the clutches are shutting off correctly. So those are still controlled from the ag leader side, as well as our coverage option for minimize skip and minimize overlap options. So swath control is controlled no different than a standard ag leader system. We get out of this page, of course, another big thing to look at would be our offset measurements, okay, making sure our forward and back distance from our hitch to application point is correct. Granular application or fertilizer is also a forward or backward distance. Those are going to be the same as your planting distance, so they will all shut off together. <clears throat> so just make sure that those match what's on the planter before operation. Again, these are usually entered in during a complete display setup prior to going to the field when you physically set up configuration and operation specifics for your planter. Grower, farm and fields and product information is again no different than what you're used to on an Ag Leader Integra. You can of course add, enter any of that information in at any time and you can still do it sitting in the office with the 110 power supply as well. So we just have a couple grower farms and fields in here. Uh, of course, we go back to our equipment tab. Products, the same way you can enter in all of your products ahead of time as well. We hit our back arrow to get back home. Once we're done with this field, again, no different than other Ag Leader applications where we come back in, we select a different field and follow through the same steps of selecting our product, controlling product. We load our new farm and field and the same rules apply, our rates change. Of course, VT is the same. So even during a power cycle, if you were to shut off and come back the next day, the rates and prescription option for both rate and insecticide uh, is going to stay on the prescription selection. So it changes or stays there uh, even during a power cycle for the machine. And map screen is no different. Hit our map screen again, we can zoom in and see our section layouts. Of course, we tap on the screen to get rid of any of the rate selection boxes around. So general operation of the actual display is again, not any different than what you're used to on an egg leader system. The biggest benefit, we have the ability to change our rates from this page instead of going back to the VT screen. However, again, the only way to see your bar graph, bar graph or any other information that you have selected on here is to physically come back to the VT page, change your row marker operation. All of our general monitor operation, again, is no different regardless of display that you're on.